Hey guys, it's me back again with another way to join this channel. And today I'm checking out two songs from Hayes. Uh, the first one being her Falling Leaves Are Beautiful, and the second one is Late Autumn featuring Crush. Um, I originally thought that Late Autumn featuring Crush is like her title track, but I guess not. So, um, the reason why it's not probably is just because this song, Falling Leaves Are Beautiful, got an MV, and the Late Autumn featuring Crush song doesn't. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and start watching this one. There's no subtitles sadly, but um, I'm really hyped. Uh, it it seems the song is a little different from um, like her last song where she um, I don't remember it was featuring Giri Boy and produced by Sugar, but I, we don't talk together was I think the name of the the song. I, I'm not quite sure right now, but I feel like that's the last song she did, right? And even though I liked that song, it was not my favorite from her. So um, I'm looking forward to what she has to offer now. So let's go. This kind of came out yesterday, by the way, on the 13th. She's definitely one of the best R&B artists in Korea, for sure. The song starts off very powerful, like very promising. She looks amazing, by the way. Jesus Christ. I think it's it has been a long time since I've seen her with darkish hair, especially this kind of red red brown. Interesting. She looks very different. Nice. I like the speed. It's very very calm. It's very reminiscent of Hayes' style, right? Because it provides, like this type of beat provides a really good stage for her voice. Like the beat is very calm, very quiet too. So her voice shines a lot in this type of song. Uh, that's what I really like about a lot of her songs. Because her voice is amazing. So she's at a train station here. Um, falling leaves are beautiful, okay? This kinda actually reminds me of like the end of summer or something, in terms of the weather. The dress is cool, damn. Like this this red here and also the beige, be beige color. Such a nice dress. What's this? I don't know who this is, but I, I he seems familiar. He seems really familiar. Hmm. Kind of looks like Woody a little bit, but I don't know. Woody is not that thin. So uh, I don't know. Tell me who this is, if you know. Okay, all these animals. So they're kind of searching for something, right? Like she has this letter always. Kind of looks like they're following like some kind of treasure map. Okay, no. That looked like a grave or something. Like she left a note with a grave of someone. And that's probably... Is this a flashback? No, it's not, friend. Now she's burning it, okay. I really wonder what the song's about. Like, ooh, that's such a beautiful scene with the sky in the background. And the... Like, the... Car... Um... Light. Damn, that's beautiful. I, I really wonder what the song's about. Like, I need lyrics. With slow songs, I always need lyrics. Talking about her voice, like, it's as amazing as always. Okay, I, I was thinking that she was preparing for high note here, I was kind of surprised. Okay, it was a high note, but I was, I, I was like, oh my god, is she going crazy now? I never heard taste going full all out in her voice, um, in terms of, like, high notes. So, um, I was like, ooh, okay. 
was nice, but it wasn't what I thought at the beginning. I really like her voice tone. It's very relaxing, very comforting. Like in almost all of her songs. Especially in like songs like Jenga or something or um, She's Fine or, or something like that. No reason. Like all her songs like that are so comforting and and July, all the songs with Dean's uh, with Dean, You Clowns and Rain, all these songs are super super comforting and, and like very I don't know. Just her voice makes her singing sound melodramatic, even though maybe the song is not about something about something sad. It just sounds kinda sad because um hmm. it's just her voice tone in my opinion that makes that feeling for you. And that's why I kinda didn't enjoy um, her last song, We Don't Talk Together, that much. Just because the producing and the mastering on her voice was... Okay, not the producing, but the mastering on her voice was very different. Like, she sounded a lot different from her usual. So I, I just didn't like that that much. I think that's one of Hazel's biggest charms and she kinda didn't have that in that song. So it was a little bit generic pop music in my opinion in that song so that's why I was a little little disappointed but I'm really happy that she's back to that here again to her usual style and also I noticed that her hair here is again darker than before it, it's more blackish here okay she looks beautiful though the fifth mini album I, I'm really thinking about getting this one like I don't have an Haze album yet and I really wanted to, uh, to get that album with Jenga on it just because Jenga's probably my favorite Haze song aside from You Clouds Rain. So uh, pff, I'm not sure but anyways um, I really like the song so uh, I, I don't know what else to say I think I said everything I wanted to. Um, basically this to me is like one of Haze's like Haze's discography is like 80% amazing songs and everything she did in these 80% songs is like so pleasant to listen to and every song of these 80% is almost the same amazing as the others um, of the 80%. So I feel like this one definitely falls into that category of the amazing 80% songs. So um, there's not much more to say. The song's really good and the video was interesting. I l really want to know what this is about. Um, it had like a very kind of melodramatic feeling, especially the video too. And it, it felt like maybe like a good friend of these two died and they are visiting the grave uh, over and over again, like over different periods of the year and or maybe different years even. And them just like it kind of showcases how they deal with that. Not quite sure if that's the right, the right interpretation. But um, that's just what I get from without having lyrics and just seeing the video. But uh, yeah, I hope you liked my reaction. If you did, then please li uh, leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. It helps me a lot and I would really, really appreciate it. You can also request something I should react to in the comments. Um, just write me feedback in the comments or anything else. Uh, check out my other songs too. I have a lot of reactions, like a lot of reactions uh, to K-pop and K-hip-hop. And that's it. Um, have a nice day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.